Everyone has heard of Garmin. Now, in the past, they used to design kits like this, which was the uh, 496, which was essentially based on marine GPS, so for sailing ships and uh, boats and yachts and all that kind of thing. And then they stuffed in some aviation software and off you went. But things have changed. They've now built GPS units specifically for us aviators. Great news, of course. Steve from Garmin. Steve, why is this so much better? In the past, we've always had relatively small screen so a lot of people struggle to read it or say I can't really yeah I, I can't really take the information and understand on my chart where I'm at so what we've done now is taken uh, all of the technology and reliability that we've had in the past and put it into a dedicated system with a large screen format which is basically the, the ultimate side of what we're after okay. so show me what's on here because you know as a pilot I've got my knee board down there I've got how, I don't know how many pieces of paper with scribbly lines all over it, all getting very messy. This is basically designed to take away that mess, isn't it? It is, and it's also there to highlight information that you need uh, at, a, at a glance, so that you're, you're not trying to uh, establish where you are on, on the chart against the unit. It's, well, I'm nearly at Southampton, that's where I am on my chart. So what we've got is the ability to show uh, aircraft information, such as direction needed or bearing to get to your, your waypoint, yeah. airspeed, altitude and this is all based upon GPS information by the way now the ultimate thing is having the big style chart now it does look a little bit messy on the screen with a lot a lot but of it's data sort of like looking at your CAA chart, isn't it? your standard aviation charts and then they're always a mess aren't they when you're trying to glance at them at speed that's true and the nice thing what we've done with this system is have the ability at any one time just to have the hi cursor highlighted and from there we can quickly scroll through any airspace that you might be currently in you'll see the different levels where it starts to where it finishes you can again check that with your chart but sometimes it's quite difficult in flight to see where it is I mean most of the pre-flight panel would have taken care of that but it's nice on the fly to be able to see what we're doing from here the only slight thing though okay so you've got these things I can select them and all that but my biggest concern would be not seeing something on the chart or not seeing something on here and about to fly into it without having noticed it is it gonna help me out yeah what it's gonna do is actually give you an alarm uh, whether it be a, a beep but then it's going to come up with uh, an information on the screen saying you're approaching the airspace. Okay. With that, you can interrogate the airspace immediately and see if you need to change your course or altitude in order to not encroach that type of airspace. I mean, I'm a passionate believer in GPS because my thing is I want to get more people into flying. I mean, that's what we're trying to do with fullflap.tv all the time, inspiring people. A lot of people are going to say, well, look, aviation is really difficult. You've got to do it on the maps the whole time. You've got to work out your rules of thumb and things like this. We know that you've got to keep your map in there. But how useful is this? How much more pleasure can you get out of flying with this? I think as a, as a younger pilot, or, or let's say relatively fewer hours yeah. rather than the age, it's nice to have the ability to see where you are and back up what you're learning. Uh, not necessarily straight out the bat, you know, you've got to learn your, your normal navigation, how to use the VOR in your aircraft, yeah. you know, that's all part of yeah. flying. Yeah. But it's just nice to have the backup behind you in that little chance sometimes you panic, I am lost. Come on, Steve. <laughs> you know, you say backup, but look, most people are going to be using this as your primary device and they're going to use their chart as that backup for if, it, if they have a problem or anything like that. So how much workload can this take away from you, providing you keep those charts, providing you know how to use your VORs and all that as a backup? How much work can it do for you so you can look out the plane, frankly, and enjoy flying? True. You need to spend some time at the beginning. You need to say, right, I'm going to mark my flight on the chart. Do your normal 10 mile legs or how you're doing with it. Then when you go in, you do the flight planning on the system before you leave. So you, you can say, right, at that point would be uh, over a river and a road. You can now accurately put a waypoint on the system for that and create a flight plan. Right. So you've done your flight planning, you know from practice that you should miss all the airspace uh, that you're doing. Yeah. You've got all the frequencies written down. You never know. You might get to a point and suddenly it falls off your lap. You need to make a change, something like that. Yeah. You've got all the data at hand. Um, try it one way. For example, go to Flight Simulator on the computer. Yeah. Okay? You can actually connect this to the flight sim. There's a download program. But you try finding a frequency of a VOR or something when you're flying flight sim. Would be like, I've got to quickly get my chart and do it. But you're not doing it. So what we have with this is the ability at any one time to be able to find the frequency, dial into your radio, and off you go.